to prepare yourself, making yourself available, and making yourself qualified to teach and to lead in different areas of ministry. But you chose not to. You're running against the wind. And it's time for us to say, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Where would you have me to go? What would you have me to say? You see, if you are a blessing to others, you know you are most fully blessed. Yes. But when we're looking just to be blessed ourselves, I mean, that's the most, satis the most satisfying experience that one can ever experience is to, is to go through the outworking of God's gift. It's one thing to have money. <laughs> so it's, yeah, I don't know what that's like. But how many of you besides me have ever received some sense of satisfaction, if not joy? Because you had, you had a, a folding, some folding money in your pocket one day, and maybe you're one like many of us. You don't often have money, but somebody came up to you and they had a need. And you reached in your pocket and you gave that which you thought you wanted so bad, but you didn't feel so fulfilled. You didn't feel such joy as, as having that money as you did to give it. And it's not just about money. I'm speaking in those terms because that's what Jesus did. He had to speak about the things people could understand. Because where your treasure is, there your heart is also. Where your heart is, there's your treasure. Out of the abundance of the mouth, you can have that for free. <laughs> Lastly, the spirit of power is a witness. You know, we just... And we just went through and we celebrated, had a little, had a good time with Pentecost Sunday. Had a little celebration. I'm still celebrating. I I I, I can't have it hard to tell you as, as the Lord was speaking to me and it was was in, in different situations. What what I, I don't have time to share. There was a song I'm thinking. All right, Lord, what do you do with me right now? I'm feeling kind of tired. Okay. Oh come on, am I the only one ever talks to the Lord like that? Just so you know, it made him laugh. You want that? Hey, you want you want you want to make the Lord laugh? Tell him what your plans are. You want to make him laugh also? Tell wait, this will really this will make it roll over. Are you ready for this? Say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Mm. Some of us have said that. And just so you know, he doesn't think it's funny. Mm. Why? Because we're running against the wind. So the resurrected Jesus, how many of you know who he is? He's the Son of God. He's the Savior of the world. Christ promised, that he promised this in, in, in Acts chapter 8 or 1. He says, uh, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness to me. Where? In the mirror at home? Are you busy witnessing to yourself? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you need a witness. Just, wait, what, what did David say? I had to encourage myself in the Lord. But what did he do? He encouraged himself in the Lord. The Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. Amen? And his powerful witness in the world has been present ever since. Because he said he would never leave nor forsake. He's here for the duration. He's here for the long haul. So for 2,000 years, the Christian gospel has continued to be spread to every continent and nation. By the coming of the Holy Spirit, somebody say amen. amen. The Spirit of God come into your life. You are now empowered to give a worldwide witness as well as a local witness. Mm. What a great privilege it is to be able to stand and say, I am for Jesus. He is for me. And he's for you too. Let's worship the Lord.
watch over the earth. You watch over its inhabitants day and night. Lord, the sun never goes down on you because you are the light of the world. Amen. Father, I ask today, Lord, that you would help us to learn to love all things that was created by your hand. Mm. Teach us that we are part of a larger tapestry, as I said today, Lord. That we've been woven together, we've been knit together for the good of all. Yes. It's not my four no more, it's not only the church of God, but Lord, there are many faiths and there are many, many, many families of faith that we have all been called out to be individual in particular, but we've also been called to be peculiar people. And Lord, we've been called to minister to you and for you. Lord, send us out today with a, a greater understanding and perhaps a greater desire. Holy Spirit, come. Give us that same desire that you gave us at the altar to cry out. Give us that same desire, Lord, to cry out to you for all things were created for you and by you. To all glory and honor and praise that belongs to you. Would you lift your hand to heaven and say, Father, we worship you today. We give you thanks. We give you adoration. We give you praise, honor. All glory, Lord, belongs to you. I'm here today because of you, God. Thank you for creating all things. And thank you, Lord, for all the good gifts that you sent to us. Help us, Lord, to appropriate them and use them in the way that you meant. And we be sure to give you all glory and honor. All glory and honor returns to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister so Linda. Sister Margaret. Pastor. Lord, we're calling you forward. Please. As you know, uh, was the pastor's birthday was Thursday. And we passed out slips of paper asking, you know, if you had anything you wanted to show uh, appreciation for Pastor, please turn it in today. Thank you. Most everybody did. We appreciate it. And we are having fried chicken because that's his request, his favorite stuff. So anyway, because it's his birthday, we could have fried chicken. Amen? So I'm going to do a dismissal prayer, and Sister Margaret's going to do a presentation, and then we'll go over and eat, okay? Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. We will when he gets over there by the birthday cake. Okay? All right. There's cake? There's cake. I'm there. Yeah. You can eat it too. A little fun here, yeah. a little humor. We have a gambling cake and we have pineapple upside down. <laughs> <laughs> the gambling cake has a little decoration. You'll see it. It's really cute. So, anyway, this is things not to do. 